Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on the theory of the topic queuing theory. Last two videos I have explained you about the meaning of the term queuing theory, what are the characteristics, features of queuing theory, what are the advantages, what are the limitations, what is single channel queuing model, what is arrival rate, what is service rate, all these things I have explained in the last two videos. Now in this video, only two topics I am going to explain. Then from the next two video onwards, we will start the problems on queuing theory. In this video, the customer behavior while standing in the queue. How the customers will behave? Different customers will behave differently while standing in the queue. That's what. In examination, they will ask short questions regarding this behavior of customers in the queue. The next topic is the formula used in queuing theory. In the coming problems, almost every problem we have to apply the formula to find out certain things. So what are the formulas which are used in queuing theory? I have listed down here and these formulas we are going to apply. So my suggestion to you while watching the video, always keep a notebook pen ready and note down all these points which I have written on the board. Keep notes, then only you can be able to remember, you can face the examination boldly, confidently. Otherwise, simply if you listen, if you watch the video, only 50% of knowledge you can be able to get. So before going ahead, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain. Now, first of all, the behavior or position of customer or the uh, in the queue or behavior, customer behavior. What is the position of the customer while standing in the queue? What is the behavior of the customer while standing in the queue? So it is necessary to know the reaction of the customer upon entering the system. When the customer enters into the system, he has to wait in the queue for some times, then he will get the service from the service center and he has to move away from the system. So during this period in the system, how the customer may behave. So a customer will decide to wait. Some customers will decide that I will get the service, then only I will leave. But every customer will not be of the same kind. Some customer will join the queue after waiting for some time. They will say, no, I don't want to wait for further more time. I will leave. Later on, I will come. But right now they will renege, they will go away. So this is also one of the behavior. So some customer may stay, some customer may leave. Now, various customers while in queue behave differently. Their behavior pattern can fall in any of the following categories. So here four categories I'm going to explain. These are the behavior of customers while standing in the queue. The first one is bulking. Bulking means moving away, moving ahead of others. That means they will become reluctant while standing in the queue. They want to reach the counter as soon as possible. As soon as possible. So they will push away other people who are standing in front of them so that he can be able to get the service as soon as, the, as possible. They don't want to stand in the queue for a long period of time. Bulking, moving ahead, pushing others in order to reach first. So some customers show reluctance for waiting in the queue. They do not join the queue at their current position and attempt to jump to the queue and reach the service center by passing others ahead of them. They, he want, the person want to reach the service center, custom, I mean uh, service facility, server, as soon as possible. So he will push others ahead of them. So this is known as bulking. The next effect uh, the next uh, I mean behavior of the customer is collusion means combining sometimes some of the customers join together and only one of them instead of all stay in the queue for example suppose five friends are there they go to uh, get the movie ticket so instead of all five standing in the queue only one of them were, was let to stand in the queue the others are staying separately when the turn comes, 
everybody will come we are along with him so we also want the service so they join at the time of getting the service only one of them will stand in the queue remaining will stand away from the queue when the turn comes immediately everybody will join and say we are with him and we also want the service so sometimes some of the customers however when their turn comes of service all these customers who are in collision demand service they all will say he is our person we have let him to stand and we all want the service in collision this is called collision the next one is reneging the meaning of reneging is leaving the system going away so some customers will wait for some times they will become impatient they don't want to stand further they will renege they will go away they will leave the system at all so some customers grow impatient after waiting for some time in the queue and then renege or leave the queue without getting the service impatient customers then jockeying jockeying is the term which is used when two or more than two service centers are there servers are there which provide similar service same service so instead of standing at one counter he will jump to another counter for example in airports we can see immigration for immigration different counters are there all the immigration counters will provide the same service so some person what they will do they will stand in one line and always looking the other lines wherever the other line is short immediately he will jump to that that line he there also he will not stand for long he will watch the other lines if any other line has become shorter again he will jump to that line so always moving from one line to another line this is called jockeying so in case there is more than one queue for a similar type of service some customers keep on shifting from one queue to improve their position why he is uh, moving away from one line to another line to improve his position he wants to get the service as soon as possible he don't want to waste the time in the line waiting this is known as jockeying so these are the behavior of the customers while standing in the queue that is bulking collision reneging and jockeying that's it the last topic of this uh, theoretical part is the formula the formula which are used in queuing theory are first one average number of units in the system the average number of units in the system means average number of customers in the whole system some are waiting in the queue and some are getting the service so how many customers are there on an average the symbol which is used is ls ls stands for average number of customers in the whole system right the formula for ls is lambda divided by mu minus lambda lambda means the arrival rate and mu means the service rate here i have written lambda arrival rate and mu is the service rate so simply remember average number of customers or average number of units in the whole system that is denoted as ls lambda by mu minus lambda second average number of units in the queue how many average number of units are there who are standing in the queue so what is the difference between this average number of units in the system average number of units in the queue system denotes all the persons who are in the queue and also the person who is getting the service at the counter example i have given if in a doctor's clinic some five patients are waiting in the lounge in the queue and one patient is in the cabin who is getting the service so five people in the queue and one person in the cabin so total number of persons in the system is 5 plus 1 6 right but if you want how many persons are there only in the queue that lq lq stands for average number of customers in the queue so what is the formula for calculating lq lambda square divided by mu into mu minus lambda if you remember the formula then only you can be able to solve the problems so watch this video twice thrice then only you can be able to keep all these formulas in your mind so ls lq 
ls average number of units in the whole system that is lambda divided by mu minus lambda and lq average number of units in the q so lq is equal to lambda square divided by mu into mu minus lambda third average time waiting time of customer in the system average time a customer spends in the whole system that is denoted as ws so ws is the average time a customer spends in the whole system the formula for ws is 1 divided by mu minus lambda now next one average waiting time a customer spends in the queue wq so here ws here wq ws average time a customer spends in the whole system wq average time a customer spends standing in the queue so wq is equal to lambda divided by mu into mu minus lambda four formulas or next formula is regarding traffic intensity or utilization factor in the last video i have explained you traffic intensity or utilization factor means percentage of time the server is busy how much percentage of time the server is busy that is called utilization factor and it is denoted by rho this symbol is called rho rho is equal to lambda by mu very easy formula rho utilization factor lambda by mu arrival rate divided by service rate now probability that there are no units in the whole system what is the probability that there are no units no customers in the whole system the uh, it is denoted as po po stands for probability that there are no units in the whole system so po is equal to 1 minus lambda by mu or 1 minus rho rho is nothing but busy right the when he is not busy there are no units at all in the system so 1 minus rho 1 minus lambda by mu so totally six formulas i have explained many more formulas are there that i will discuss while doing the problem but these are the basic formula which you must remember without remembering this formula it will be difficult to understand the problems so inshallah we will start the problems on this queuing theory in the next video so give a like to the video share my channel among your friends among your group so that more students can watch the video give your comment subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the problems in the next video